Good evening, good evening. Welcome to Kingdom Advancement. We are here at Gather and we are celebrating our 2023, right? If we're coming in. And tonight we're gonna have, I have, we're live and I have an audience, right? I got the Standard Bear Gather New York City team here with us and we just wanna welcome you. So I wanna get started. Um, tonight's teaching is called Mountaintop. And um, let's think about that. What does it mean to really be on a mountaintop? Can you take everyone with you? What's really at the top? So let's go to the word. I'm going to be reading from the book of Isaiah. It's got Isaiah chapter 2. But before I get started with that, I want to talk about mountaineering. And I did a little study on just, you know, going up a mountain. And it says, in mountaineering, you need to see what is in front of you. And know for yourself that you can get across that proverbial beam. Whether it's two feet or 2,000 feet off the ground. Has anyone ever climbed a mountain in standing there? I heard, I heard one person said they climbed a mountain in Costa Rica. But one of the things you got to remember is it says it requires the mental confidence and focus on the task at hand in order to get past that moment. So what's the goal? Don't look down. Stand up here, gather, say that. Don't, Don't look, look down. down. And this is the key. Because when you're going on a mountaintop, a lot of the times the enemy is trying to show you what you miss, that you could fall, what you could slip, how high you are. But the reality of the situation is, with Jesus Christ on your side, there's no place that you can't go. There's no mountain that's too high. There's no valley that's too low that he can't reach you. But we want to talk about this mountain top. What did Jesus do when he went on the mountains? Mountain was a solitary place. Place where he, you know, prayed. He communed with the Father. And sometimes we forget about that. We forget that we have got to spend that time. We got to Take some time away, and you can't take everybody on the mountain with you. I was uh, doing a, por a portion of study related to when Jesus went up on the, was up on the Mount of Transfiguration, and he only took three disciples with you. And I was thinking about that because, you know, I was going through social media feeds over the last couple of weeks and just looking at the amount of friends that people have. 10,000 friends, 5,000 friends, 4,000 friends. And I know that maybe it's only four or five people that really you call and talk to that you really call friends. And sometimes we, you think that, you know, because you're an influencer, you got all these likes, you got all these um, people following you that you think you're taking yourself up on a mountaintop. But I'm here to tell you that the only thing that's going to bring you higher is Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Because he's the one that you can tell everything to. He's the one that's not going to not like your post. He's always going to love your post because he loves you. So let's go to the scripture. I'm reading the New International Version. And it's, it starts off, this is Isaiah chapter 2. And it says, the mountain of the Lord. Verse 1 says, this is what Isaiah son of Amos was, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. It says, in the la and this is a vision, a vision. In the last days, the mountain of the Lord's temple will be established as the highest of the mountains. It will be exalted above the hills, and all nations will stream to it. Verse 3 says, many peoples will come and say, come let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the temple of the God of Jacob. He will teach us his ways so that we may walk in his path. And I want to start right there because sometimes we think that we know what we're doing. We're stepping out of 2022 and we're going into 2023. And I'm ready for 2023. But we, I was ready for 2022. I was ready for 2021 because it wasn't me walking in there. I was walking in with Christ. I was walking in with Jesus. It wasn't me that was trying to do it. It wasn't me that was trying to be alone. 
Because we're never alone. He never leaves us or forsake us. But the reality is, it says, come let us go up on the mountain of the Lord. What's your mountaintop? What is that peak that you want to be? I asked the team here today. I said, what's your resolution? Somebody said, I don't believe in resolutions. But we got to be resolute about one thing. We got to know who Christ is in our life. Because there's no mountain you can go up. There's no valley that you can hide from him. But you got to know who in 2023, you got to know who he is in your life. You got to know that what you did in 22 is going to take you to where you're going to be in 23. So, you can, you know, tomorrow's, you know, January 1st. Well, actually in a few minutes. It's a time of reflection to see. Did you really climb over some of the things, some of the hurdles? Did you really overcome the anxiety? Did you really overcome the worry? Did you really overcome the frustration? We're talking about getting to a mountaintop. But we're not just going up there and staying with the issues and the circumstances. We're going up and moving over. We're climbing over. We're knowing that God is on our side. We're talking about getting to a mountain. So when you climb up a mountain, are you going to be looking back at what you didn't get done? You're going to be looking down to see, you know, who's behind you? Are you going to be worried if you're going to fall and slip? Know that he will not let your foot slip, but you got to trust Christ. And if you don't know Jesus Christ in your life, you, you need to know him. You can't get into 23 just trying to see. I got these glasses. I'm so excited. I got these 2023 glasses because it's the year to see. We're going to see all the goodness. We're going to see all the great exploits. We're going to see miracles, signs, and wonders. We're going to see, mm, hallelujah, we're going to see the power of the Lord manifesting. But guess what? We're going to have to be building ourselves up in our most holy faith. We're not going to be able to just be having wine glasses because you don't always get to see everything because you're not always sober. And this is the time to be sober, to be vigilant, to know that the enemy is lurking like a lion, but he has no teeth as long as Jesus Christ is in your life and you put him at the head. If you're led by the Holy Spirit, you don't have to worry about the enemy hovering and worrying about you. Because if you're led by him, God does not lead you into trouble. We're talking about a mountaintop. We got to get over some things. We got to get over old friendships. We got to get over bad relationships. We got to get over bad decisions. We got to get over bad purchases. We got to get over some things. Stop climbing in the past. We got to get over. And the only way to get, mm, to elevate yourself is to walk with a life in Christ. And it's for, it's for the young to the old, because we got the youngest here, I think she's nine, and then we have the mature, who's 69. <laughs> so the goal is, are you ready to be on the mountaintop? Are you ready to release? Because you got to cast all your cares on him because he cares for you. And you can't be thinking about what you did not accomplish and what you did not do. Because guess what? When you're climbing a mountain... You're only looking up. Why are you looking down? You're, you're climbing to go up. And he wants to take you higher. He wants to move you farther. This is the year of supernatural dividends. Divine dividends. Guess what? It's things that you did not have to do. But he's blessing you anyway. You might not have done everything right. But he's blessing you anyway. So be ready for 23, because in 23, you're going to see the goodness of the Lord. Let me go back to the scripture, because I got excited. Verse 4 says, he will judge between the nations and will settle disputes for many peoples. They will beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation will not take up the sword against nation, nor Will they train for war anymore? It says, come descendants of Jacob, let us walk in the light of the Lord. And that's what I'm talking about. We're going to have to walk in the light on the, of the Lord. We've got to be a city on a hill that can't be hid. We can't be these hidden Christians going into 23. 
People need to see us. They need to see us serving. They need to see us loving. They need to see us caring. Guess what? How do they get to the mountaintop? When we walk out and they get to see the Christ that's living inside of us. We're going to have to share the gospel. We're going to have to love others. We're going to have to care about others. There's going to be sacrifices that's going to have to be made. So we're going into 23. Are you ready to see? Or you just want to be? It's about me, myself, and I. I'm praying even now that the Holy Spirit continues to hover over each and every one of us. Because many of us have gone through so many trials and tribulations and issues and circumstances through, not just 20, through, throughout our lifetime. And a lot of the challenges, because I counsel a lot of young adults, and a lot of the challenges that are struggles are the things that happened when they were younger. So even now, in 20, as we stepping into 23, we want to pray. And our prayer is, is that we pray for our young people. We pray for the parents. We got to pray for the teachers. We got to pray for the schools. I'm talking about going on a mountaintop. And this mountaintop is to get in the presence of the Lord and seek his face so we can shift mm, this nation. Because it says, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face. See with a K. Seek his face. And we turn from our wicked ways, the things that we know we're not supposed to be doing. He will turn from heaven. And he will heal this place. And we need healing. Uh, and I'm going to end with this. I was uh, talking to uh, an evangelist in London. And she was sharing with me because I'm praying for that area. And she said to me, our issue here, you know, she says, I know in the United States, you all have guns and whatever. Our issues here are stabbing. The young people are stabbing each other. They're stabbing each other. And I started praying. I said, Lord, well, well, I said, you know, it's so different when somebody pull a gun on you. But when somebody stab you, they got to come to you. They have to get close to you. And I'm saying to the Lord, how is it that the enemy was able to bring up such a spirit in people that they could get close enough to stab, but we can't get close enough to speak? We can't get close enough to share your word. We're not close enough to say hi. We can't even look people in the face. I come against that even now in the name of Jesus. We're going to get to the mountaintop. We're going to get to that place where we walk up. And we can look up and, and look to our hills. Hallelujah. We look to the hills where our help comes from. It comes from the Lord. That's how you get to the mountaintop. You can't get there without him. So if you don't know Jesus Christ tonight, before you step into 2023, accept him as Lord and Savior in your life. Turn your life over to him. A lot of the issues you're saying, I've been in this valley too long. But he want to take you to a mountaintop where you got to receive him as Lord and Savior. You can't just do things your own way and think that you're going to get away with it. Because there's a, there's a prize for not receiving him. And you don't want that. Our goal is for you to come to heaven. His goal is that no one should perish. But you got to want him. Just like you date someone and you want to pick and choose. He wants you to choose him. So tonight, it's time to get to the mountaintop. But you can't get there without Christ. And this is for every nation. So whenever you see this stream, whenever you see this live, accept Jesus Christ in your life. He wants to do more for you. There's more in store. But you have to want him. So I'm Apostle Sonia Chambers. I'm the apostolic leader of Kingdom Advancement Alliance in New York, Florida, and Louisiana. And I'm the senior pastor of Standard Bear in New York, Florida, and upstate New York. And I want to say Happy New York. <laughs> Happy New York, right? Happy New Year to the Standard Bear team and the Kingdom Advancement Alliance team. And Happy New Year to all those who are watching and supporting us. 
and know that God wants to take, he wants to move you higher to a higher place where you have to get in his face. So God bless you all. I love you all. It's almost 2023. It is time to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. So for all of you all, enjoy your 2023. I will see you all next week. And I'm expecting testimonies of the divine providence that he's shifting and moving things in your life in Jesus' name. So God bless you all and good night.